So now I want to create some original background music for my Scratch program. Luckily there are a lot of cool programs that let me do this because I am by no means a composer. Again, I'm going to be using Aviary Education, but you can also go to aviary.com, scroll down, and it's the music creator tool I'll be using. Let's go to New Creations, Create Music. And the first thing I'm going to see on the screen is a list of instruments that are available. Um, so it starts with drums, and there's piano, guitar, uh, sound effects, um, singing voices, and I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom to the 8-bit uh, game effects because I'm making a game. I'm just going to load these instruments up on the left-hand side here, and I can play them individually, see what they sound like that way. Um, the other thing I can do is let it put some beats out there for me and then play the full thing. Try something else. I could delete some of these if I think that would help. All right. Um, if you're more advanced with music, you can change your beats per measure. Now, it turns out I don't so much like those effects, so I'm going to change my sounds. Um, I could change them individually, or I can change all of them. I'm going to change all of them. I'm going to go to a thumb piano effect. I'm going to add them all. You know, the place over here. Now I can... Um... Here, I like that sound much better. Try randomizing some other beats. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and try to compose a little uh, background sound effect myself. So let's see what this sounds like. All right, I like that. Um, so now I'm going to save it. And first you'll have to save it um, in Aviary. It's actually the second one I've created. Um, and after you've saved an area, a um, menu's gonna come up to let you download it to your hard drive. Now when you're putting this music in Scratch, it's gonna be um, just as eight measures, so you will need to loop it if it's going to be your background music. So here we go. Now I can download it as an mp3. Alright, now it's on my hard drive and I can put it in my scratch program.